what is going on ladies and gentlemen we are back again with another 90 day fiance update video and this one right here is all about mohammed and eve but before we get into it let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel that is a member of patreon and that is a subscriber as we continue to grow now when it comes to mohammed and eve we know that these two have been going through it since the show started and pretty much till now when the show has even ended I mean, listen, their relationship was so bad that even on the tale of part two, they even came out to announce that Mohammed was 100% cheating on Eve. And since then, things have definitely escalated in a whole different direction that we did not see coming, with Mohammed then pressing charges against Eve for domestic violence. But it seems to me as if Eve has finally decided to pull the plug on the relationship. Let's have a look, because as you can see right here, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from InTouchWeekly.com, it starts off by saying it's over. 90 Day Fiance star Eve has filed for divorce from her estranged husband, Mohammed. In touch can exclusively confirm. I mean, to be honest with you, this was the inevitable. To be honest with you, I'm surprised that this is only now coming out. I thought this is something that Eve would have done so much more sooner. But at the same time, though, if we're looking at Eve's attitude throughout the season, we saw that, of course, time and time again, their relationship was never compatible and she had every reason to leave him, but she just kept staying. I mean, listen, after we saw or we heard the recording of obviously the argument that they had just before the wedding, you would have thought that itself in, partic in particular would have been the pinnacle for Eve to be like, you know what, I'm finally going to walk away. But hey, maybe Eve thought, we're on TV, I've got to go through with it. But at the same time, that Eve always made it clear that she always wanted to get married and have this dream freaking wedding. But nonetheless, though, Eve's naiveness and Eve's stubbornness and Eve's narrow-mindedness is probably why she thought for some bizarre reason. Maybe I can just still stay married to him and things will get better. But clearly they haven't and now we're here. But let's continue though, because it does continue but here by saying, unfortunately, this is not a surprise. Eve's surprise, <laughs> surprise, my apologies. Eve's rep, Dominique, owner of Dumpton Talent House, exclusively tells in touch of the pair's legal separation filed on Wednesday, September 21st, which was just yesterday. The couple's most recent... The couple's most recent media exposure regarding the 90-day K-1 visa journey was a rift with incompa incompatibility, heartache, and controversy. And believe me, boy, and believe me, boy, don't we know it. But let's continue, though, because here obviously gives us back, it gives us a little, a little bit of a background check and obviously everything that has been happening so far within their relationship. So as you can see here, ladies and gentlemen, it does go off by saying the 90-day fiancé stars uh, divorce filing comes nearly one month after in touch confirmed the couple split following Mohammed's cheating scandal, which aired during part two of the season nine tell all. Sadly, many of these events unfolded online. Well, I mean, to be fair, I was one of those people <laughs> unfolding online and on their reality TV series. Ease filing for divorce only serves as the next inevitable step to trajectory of the couple's journey. Her rep statement continues. She has come to the conclusion that their marriage has suffered imperable harm and cannot be rec uh, reconciled. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't know why it's taken her this long to recognize that and realize that, to be honest with you. The man literally filed charges against you for physical abuse. Like, come on. But hey, Eve has been naive for too long. And it's just very annoying because her naive ways, she neglects that these things affect her child. Whether she likes it or not or believes it or not, it will anyway. But we continue here, ladies and gentlemen, by saying um, that she hopes this will be the final step closer to his chapter to this chapter in her life, put the past behind her and move forward in the future. Now, of course, at this moment in time, according to Eve's rep, she claims that the court that, that the charges have now been stopped and you know that you know obviously the whole thing that they're not that the charges have been dropped, but via a previous video that i did make where we got documentation to prove that the court case is still actually happening so it's kind of a confusing situation on whether or not the court case is still happening or if it's not happening but the records show that it is still happening so i'm not too sure how eve can look forward and move forward to the future at this moment in time considering that it looks like they're still ongoing but maybe they're not who knows but of course if we can but of course, if I can get more information about that, I'll most certainly let you guys know. But as you can see here, it continues also by saying, hours before news of the couple split on August 22nd, in touch exclusively confirmed the mom of one 
48 he was charged with one count of battery against a household member and one count of assault against a household member after an alleged incident between the former couple took place on August 15th. And this is obviously going back to the uh, to what I've been saying so far in terms of their relationship about all the things that have gone down. And the fact that these things have gone down is quite surprising that it's taken Eve this long to want to finally actually file for um for, for divorce because to be honest with you, this is something that she should have done way, way back. But well, to be fair, I say it's something she, she should have done way back. She should have never got married him in the first place, to be honest with you, in a nutshell. But hey, let's continue before we, we uh, wrap it up. As you can see here, ladies and gentlemen, it continues by saying the TLC star was charged following uh, Mohammed's claims that she attacked him while trying to gain access to his phone while inside their home in Abu. Following the news of the Egypt native police rep uh, report, his rep slammed the domestic violence charges and claimed they were falsified by Mohammed. Mohammed and the woman he has been cheating on Eve with has discussed the options, uh, his options from the, big, the from the very beginning. In touch at the time, they specifically discussed a U visa and how Mohammed could qualify for this in case he found out about, you know, of course, his, his uh, indiscretions. Now, of course, a lot of people have been asking, what is the U visa? Now, of course, I have explained it before, the U visa is another visa you can get to allow him to, allow him to stay in the United States. But of course, let's just continue um, reading this last bit here, ladies and gentlemen. A U visa is set aside for, vic for victims of certain crimes who have suffered mental or physical abuse and are helpful to law uh, enforcement or government officials in the investigation or prosecution of criminal activity, according to the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. Now, here's the thing, though, ladies and gentlemen, let's just go off the whim and say that his rep is correct and the court case is over. Well, then that means Mohammed would not be able to file for this visa because that means clearly if she's able to move forward with the situation, then that clearly means that she was never found guilty, right? But if they are still ongoing, well, then that means Mohammed was still be in a position where he's still going to be looking to do this U visa situation. So it's a bit of a sticky one because it's like, where, where do we go from here? Is the court case still going or is it not going? Because my impression is that he hasn't got his visa right now. And if Eve is now going to be filing for divorce, well, of course, that means he won't be getting it anyway. So how else could he get it? Well, the only other way he could get it is if he gets that U visa. But of course, for him to get a U visa, I'm sure Eve would have to be found guilty in court. And that is not something that has happened at this moment in time. So it tells me that Mohammed may actually be the first person ever on 90 Day Fiance or not even that on TLC TV, actually be sent back home to his homeland and potentially never come back. But again, though, that is pretty much all, of my, all, all a puzzle at this moment in time. And um, yeah, but nonetheless, though, ladies and gentlemen, we'll leave it as that right there. You guys let me know what you're thinking in terms of Mohammed still potentially being deported or not even deported, but being obviously sent back home because clearly his visa would have run out by now anyway. Well, I'm pretty sure if they can get divorced, the K-1 visa is on right now, which I'm sure would have run out, or whatever visa is on now anyway, would obviously become invalid once the divorce is through. But of course, the divorce can take some time. And within that time, Lord knows what strings he's going to be able to pull. Well, I say that. Lord knows what strings TLC is going to be able to pull. So it's a bit of a sticky one. And it's very confusing. But hey, <laughs> if you guys know something that I don't know about this whole situation, it doesn't seem to make sense. Like the more and more we get information, the more and more it just makes less sense. Yeah. Nonetheless, though, you guys let me know what you're thinking down below in the comment section. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and peace.